how do I neutralize a first wide serve? So if you're watching tennis on TV, I'm sure you've heard the term serve plus one or serve plus first strike. And here's what we mean by that. So we have our server serving out wide. So deliberately going to what is the strength for most players, whether it's world class or recreational tennis. Most players prefer their forehand, but that doesn't matter if they get their strength. What matters a lot more is that now this side of the court is wide open. So unless the returner hits a tactically smart return, anywhere here, the server gets their first strike and can go into the open part of the court. So that is the serve plus one or serve plus first strike. And of course, the same works on the backhand side, right? So if I'm serving out wide over here, I am opening up the deuce court here on my court. So how do I neutralize that serve? Now, if we put ourselves in the shoes of the returner, a lot of times the down the line ball here seems the easiest because visually this side of the court is wide open. Problem with that return is that A, I'm going over the higher part of the net, I'm going into the shorter part of the court and it's going against my natural rotation. And of course, you see the issue. If the server can get behind that ball again, this side of the court is wide open. And most of the time with a down the line return, it's game over in pro tennis. So a great option to neutralize that wide serve is to go right back to where that ball came from. So one option is to go deep down the middle because that way your opponent has to really actively move if it's a right-hander to find his or her forehand and open this angle here. And anytime we move, we know that we might make a mistake. Tennis is a movement sport and my first goal is to always have my opponent move more than I have to. So that is a great option. Now, an even better option is this. So my best option to neutralize that first wide serve is to actually go deep cross court. So if I can find this area, I have used my highest percentage shot because I'm going over the lowest part of the net into the deepest part of the court. Remember the cross court, the diagonal here has four more feet that I can hit into. And I'm going with the natural rotation of my shoulder and my hip. So that is the best option that I have because even though visually, of course, my opponent still has this side open here, I'm taunting them to hit their lowest percentage shot, which is over the highest part of the net into the shortest part of the court. And this is the shot that goes against their natural rotation and any kind of half millimeter off the angle of your racket face, a lot of times leads to balls that are being spread out wide. So this here is your best option. And there is actually one more benefit to this. Just like the server plans their serve and their first ball after the serve, the returner plans the return and the first ball after the return. And ideally, both of those shots need to be the highest percentage options. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So if I find my return going into this ideal spot here, visually, of course, this side of my court is wide open. So a lot of players, a lot of the servers will react with that down the line ball. And of course, I have a lot of area to cover, a lot of distance to cover. But if I get to this ball, if I'm a right hander with my backhand, I'm going now again over the lowest part of the net and into the deepest part of my opponent's court. And now I've turned the table. Now my opponent has to cover this huge diff, um, distance. So that is why I like that wide option the best, that deep cross court return, because I get to use the highest percentage shot twice.
Now, of course, my opponent has the option to not go for the most tempting shot down the line, but what happens if they're going back cross court? Well, then all is good because I am having less distance to cover to that cross court ball than I had to the down the line. So I just need to make sure that I'm timing my split step properly so that my opponent can't go back behind me. But if I'm then in a cross court rally, I have now neutralized that huge advantage and now I can start structuring the point the way I want it. And I'm playing the point on my terms and not on my opponents. Let's look at a few points from the pro level, but also um, at a few points that some of my clients played because that return works at all levels. If you like this video, go ahead, let me know in the comments and please feel free to subscribe to my channel. It would be amazing if you could help me push it over a thousand subscribers. And let's look at those points now. So let's look at a couple of examples from the pro level again. Um, employing that wider serve to pull the opponent out wide, that's the serve, and then having the other side of the court wide open for the first strike. And you'll notice here that this is a pretty uh, tight situation, tight spot that Ash Barty is in, and she's using the pattern that we've talked about. So she's pulling uh, Makova out wide, that's an okay depth shot, but at that level, that's still considered a shorter ball, and you'll see just how much area she has to cover, and she's just not getting there. And the same here, we'll look at Jill Teichmann here. She's playing against Coco Goff. Same thing, she's gonna go out wide, and then we'll have the outside wide open for her lefty forehand. All right, and in this little clip, we're seeing um, Elise Mertens, one of the best returners on tour, neutralizing one of the best servers on tour, uh, Karolina Pliskova. So let's see what she's doing. So I'll let that run a little slower so we have time to see it. Look at that return so deep and tables have turned. So Elise Mertens has taken over. Again, let's look at that one more time and slower motion here. That's not a terrible serve. It's probably maybe a little too far in uh, at that level. But again, this here would have been an easy point into the open court for Pliskova. And instead, Mertens is choosing that deep return right into Pliskova's feet here. And you see how off balance Pliskova is to react to that. And that is when the momentum of the point of course changes. And from then on out, Mertens can use her forehand to dictate the point. And now to show you that the uh, wide serve opens the court also in um, lower levels of play, so not world class. Um, I'll show you this point here by uh, Faisal and Erica over here at the uh, background. So first wide serve, I'll just let that run a little slower. too short of a return, and then of course, everything is wide open. So one thing, if you are employing this pattern, if you are the server and you're going for your wide serve, a cue for you to be ready for a shorter and weaker return is if you manage to get that serve so far out that the returner is basically pulled out past the doubles alley. Um, that usually shows that, you know, that person is going to be very off balance and it's going to be a lower quality return. So that's just a little um, tip for the server. But now let's look at the best option that we talked about as a return. So we have the same situation here. Faisal is going to serve out wide, but we talked about the return and let's see what happens. So that's the perfect return here. And let's go right back here. So obviously this side of the court is wide open, but Erica's return is so deep that Faisal's completely off balance. And to my mind, he would have been much better off going right back uh, cross court because he's going over the 
shorter um, into the shorter part of the cord and over the higher part of the net and you don't want to change direction when you're off balance so he just got a little greedy there wanting to go into the open side of the court and just is not able to really control that ball so that is the one example here and then we'll have one more where it's a good serve and Erica's actually managing to get that ball because Faisal's down the line ball is not really good quality and then we're having um, a good end of the point here so let's look at that one more time see here again Faisal is pretty much off balance he's not able to really step in and his next ball is really short Erica can get it and then a good rest of the point here and then we have the last point here again these two in match play again wide serve deliberately going out wide to open up the court and then there's just not enough adjustment here by Faisal to aggressively go forward being balanced and then going down the line so again to my mind he would have been better off going right back cross court and just you know accepting that the advantage has passed with his serve